Good evening. Welcome to worship for Wednesday of the first week of Easter. It is good to gather. We will continue gathering for evening prayer on Wednesdays until such time as our congregations are able to worship in person once again. Pastor Cope and I are very excited to be able to collaborate to do this together as a worshiping body of New Berlin um, as our congregations get worship together. We our evening prayer pattern is derived from the order of evening prayer from the Evangelical Lutheran worship hymnal. Um, we will be using songs from this and from the New Century hymnal as the season progresses. The order of evening prayer in our the ELW is very similar to that in the New Century hymnal. Um, and you can download, if you haven't already, uh, the complete liturgy as a bulletin form in the link attached to this video. Um, and I invite you to worship with us this night and each night. Uh, prepare your space, if you haven't done so already, with a candle. Um, I have the candle that uh, Messiah sent home with people on February 2nd on Candle Moss that's made from melting down old altar candles, but any candle will do. Don't light it yet, but have a lighter handy, as I have, um, and we'll light it to get light our candles together during our open di opening dialogue. Right. As we begin our worship, we begin. Repeat, join with me in repeating Alleluia after each line. Jesus Christ is risen from the dead. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. We are illumined by the brightness of his rising. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Death has no more dominion over us. Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia. We join in singing the evening hymn, All Praise to Thee, My God, This Night, led for us by Kaylin Foss. All praise to Thee, my God, this night, for all the blessings of the light. Keep me, oh, keep me, King of kings, be set out from Shittim with all the Israelites, and they came to the Jordan. They camped there before crossing over. At the end of three days, the officers went through the camp and commanded the people, when you see the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord your God being carried by the Levitical priest, 
then you shall set out from your place. Follow it so that you may know the way you should go, for you have not passed this way before. Yet there shall be a space between you and it, a distance of about 2,000 cubits. Do not come any nearer to it. Then Joshua said to the people, Sanctify yourselves, for tomorrow the Lord will do wonders among you. So the priest Joshua said, Take up the Ark of the Covenant and pass on in front of the people. So they took up the Ark of the Covenant and went in front of the people. The Lord said to Joshua, This day I will begin to exalt you in the sight of all Israel, so that they may know that I will be with you as I was with Moses. You are the one who shall command the priest who bear the Ark of the Covenant. When you come to the edge of the waters of the Jordan, you shall stand still in the Jordan. Joshua then said to the Israelites, Draw near and hear the words of the Lord your God. Joshua said, By this you shall know that among you is the living God, who without fail will drive out from before you the Canaanites, Hittites, Hivites, Perizzites, Girgashites, Amorites, and Jebusites. The Ark of the Covenant of the Lord of all the earth is going to pass before you into the Jordan. So now select twelve men from the tribes of Israel, one from each tribe. When the souls of the feet of the priest who bear the Ark of the Lord, the Lord of all the earth, rest in the waters of the Jordan, the waters of the Jordan flowing from above shall be cut off. They shall stand in a single heap. When the people set out from their tents to cross over the Jordan, the priests bearing the Ark of the Covenant were in front of the people. Now the Jordan overflows all its banks throughout the time of harvest. So when those who bore the Ark had come to the Jordan, and the feet of the priests bearing the Ark were dipped in the edge of the water, the waters flowing from above stood still, rising up in a single heap far off at Adam, the city that is beside Zarethan, while those flowing toward the Sea of the Arabah, the Dead Sea, were wholly cut off. Then the people crossed over opposite Jericho. While all Israel were crossing over on dry ground, the priest who bore the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord stood on dry ground in the middle of the Jordan until the entire nation finished crossing over the Jordan. And now we hear from Psalm 118. Give thanks to the Lord, for the Lord is good. God's mercy endures forever. Let Israel now declare, God's mercy endures forever. The Lord is my strength and my song, and has become my salvation. Shouts of rejoicing and salvation echo in the tents of the righteous. The right hand of the Lord acts valiantly. The right hand of the Lord is exalted. The right hand of the Lord acts valiantly. I shall not die, but live and declare the works of the Lord. The Lord indeed punished me sorely, but did not hand me over to death. Open for me the gates of righteousness. I will enter them and give thanks to the Lord. This is the gate of the Lord. Here the righteous may enter. I give thanks to you, for you have answered me and you have become my salvation. The stone that the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. By the Lord has this been done. It is marvelous in our eyes. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. And now we turn to a reading from the Gospel of Matthew. After the Sabbath, as the first day of the week was dawning, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to see the tomb. And suddenly there was a great earthquake, for an angel of the Lord descending from heaven came and rolled back the stone and sat on it. His appearance was like lightning, and his clothing white as snow. 
For fear of him, the guards shook and became like dead men. But the angel said to the women, Do not be afraid. I know that you are looking for Jesus who was crucified. He is not here, for he has been raised as he said. Come, see the place where he lay. Then go quickly and tell his disciples, He has been raised from the dead, and indeed he is going ahead of you to Galilee. There you will see him. This is my message for you. So they left the tomb quickly with fear and great joy, and ran to tell his disciples. Suddenly Jesus met them and said, Greetings. And they came to him, took hold of his feet, and worshipped him. Then Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go and tell my brothers to go to Galilee. There they will see me. Here ends the reading of our Holy Scriptures. We respond to the scripture by singing together, Now all the vault of heaven resounds, led for us this evening by J.R. Erdley. Now all the vault of heaven resounds In praise of love that still abounds Christ has triumphed, he is living Sing choirs of angels loud and clear Repeat their song of glory here Christ has triumphed he is living. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Eternal is the gift he brings. Therefore our heart with rapture sings. Christ has triumphed. He is living. Now still becomes to give us life. And by his presence stills all strife. Christ has triumphed. He is living. Alleluia. 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 Oh, fill us, Lord, with dauntless love. Set heart and will on things above. That we conquer through your triumph. Grant grace sufficient for life's day, that by our lives we truly say, Christ has triumphed, he is living. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Adoring praises now we bring, and with the heavenly blessed sing, Christ has triumphed, alleluia, be to the Father and our Lord, to Spirit blessed, most holy God, all the glory never ending. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Join with me in prayer, responding, Lord, have mercy. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace from above and for our salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, for the well-being of the Church of God, and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy house and for all who offer here their worship and praise, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the health of the creation, 
for abundant harvest that all may share, and for peaceful times let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For public servants, the government, and those who protect us, for those who work to bring peace, justice, healing, and protection in this and every place, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those who travel, for those who are sick and suffering, and for those who are in captivity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For deliverance in the time of affliction, wrath, danger, and need, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For all servants of the church, for this assembly, and for all people who await from the Lord great and abundant mercy, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help, save, comfort, and defend us, gracious Lord. giving thanks for all who have gone before us and are at rest, rejoicing in the communion of all the saints, we commend ourselves, one another, and our whole life to you, through Christ our Lord. To you, O Lord. We give thanks to you, Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have graciously protected us today. We ask you to forgive us all our sins where we have done wrong, and graciously to protect us tonight. Into your hands we commend ourselves, our bodies, our souls, and all that is ours. Let your holy angels be with us, so that the wicked foe may have no power over us. Amen. Gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless and preserve us. Amen. The peace of Christ be with you always.